This is Credit Matters, and I am Larry Witte, Senior Director with S&P Global Fixed Income Research. U.S. public finance exhibited growing credit strength in 2016, although at a slower rate than in 2015 and 2014. Upgrades outpaced downgrades by a ratio of 1.25 to 1 in 2016, compared with 2.2 to 1 in 2015 and 3.3 to 1 in 2014. Upgrades outpaced downgrades by a ratio of 1.28 to 1 for non-housing bonds, but there were just 0.9 upgrades for every downgrade in housing. In 2015, there were more upgrades in U.S. public finance excluding housing and within housing. In 2016, there were negative rating trends in state ratings, higher education, and housing. A total of 15 U.S. public finance rated bonds were defaulted on in 2016, more than the 12 in 2015 and the 8 in 2014. 12 of the defaults were to issues within Puerto Rico, as were four in 2015, indicating that the recent years with above average default frequency have isolated origins. The higher number of defaults since 2014 has pushed the annual mean number of defaults to 5.61 for all of U.S. public finance, including housing, and the median stand at three defaults outside of housing and one within housing each year since 1986. The default rate for U.S. public finance, excluding housing, was 0.07% in 2016, and for housing it was 0.05%. All 14 of the defaulted non-housing bonds had speculative grade ratings prior to default, and three of them had triple B minus ratings at the time they were issued. In addition to examining the absolute performance of ratings, we examined the relative performance. Using the Gini coefficient, where values closer to 1 indicate a strong bias toward lower rated debt in the distribution of defaults, the 10-year curve yields a Gini coefficient of 0.75 for non-housing bonds and 0.66 for housing bonds. These are high coefficients, indicating that defaults are much more likely to occur among lower rated bonds. This graph illustrates the Lorenz curve for non-housing ratings. The broad curve indicates that almost all defaults occur among speculative rated debt. Across sectors, we observe a general trend of increasing rating action volatility as credit quality declines, but the directional movement varies. In 2016, ratings of AA category bonds tended to move down more than up, while ratings in the A category moved higher and lower with equal frequency and triple B category ratings were more likely to be upgraded than downgraded. At least 84% of the ratings in these four categories did not migrate from one category to another. Non-investment grade ratings were more stable than in previous years. 82% of double B category bonds and 83% of B category bonds remained at those levels throughout the year. Only triple C and lower category bonds moved into lower categories as a result of default with much frequency. For more information, please read our transition and default study on U.S. public finance in 2016. And thank you again for watching.